Hey everybody, hope you are studying and performing well in your exams. According to the syllabus for the current session, we have completed unit number 1 as well as unit number 2. We have completed this whole unit along with the important questions. Even lot of programs are discussed based on all the topics of Python programming language. Now it's time to discuss unit number 3 that is society, law and ethics. Total 15 marks are allotted to it. When we look at the topics for unit 3, all the topics are divided into total 3 chapters. So in this video, we are gonna discuss important questions based on cyber safety. Hope you are familiar with the topics of this chapter. If not, let's take a small tour. What is cyber safety? We should know how to use internet to secure our personal information and not to harm others. But we all are familiar that lot of scams are going on. One of them is identity theft. In this, fraudster or scammer steals someone else's identity for their own benefit. You know, whenever we serve something on the website, similar kind of suggestions we will be getting. It means websites will track you. How they will track it? Using IP address. It's a unique address of our device. And the second way of tracking is using cookies. It's a text file which will get stored in our system which store the information of our browsing. If you don't want any website to track your browsing activity, then you need to follow certain things. The first is anonymous browsing. You can also use incognito mode. There are some more options. Go through it. To secure your personal information over the internet, you can use certain steps. First, to use firewall. It prevents unwanted traffic. It comes in the form of software as well as hardware. Along with that, you will be checking the settings of your browser. Here are some more measures. Browse privately. Be careful while posting on internet. And check the URL of the website whether it is an authenticated or fake website. It should look like this. A log followed by HTTPS. It's a secure version of HTTP. You will be getting lot of spam mails as well as unauthorized mail. So don't click any link which you don't know. Through mail there are lot of scams are happening especially job related. You might have seen that web series Jamdara in that lot of scams are revealed. So you need to be very careful with your data don't share it with any unknown person. It is like gold and silver now. Now let's move ahead to the next topic that is cyber crime. When there is a crime with the help of electronic gadgets, it is called as cyber crime. In that the first one is cyber troll. You know already what is trolling. When we post online messages that too offensive, it is called as cyber trolls. And the second one is cyber bullying. Through social network when we harass someone, it is called as bullying. Here is one more important topic that is cyber stalking. This is also a cyber crime in which cyber stalkers will follow the person over the internet without being their knowledge. Why the cyber stalkers will follow someone to collect their information to threaten them or to track their activities. There can be some other reasons too. This is also a cyber crime spreading rumors. And we all are familiar with some online fraud. Recently, this also was a big scam in which you will get a video call from the police and they will inform you that your parcel got stuck somewhere and you need to pay to get it. So be careful, don't attend any unidentified calls. As there is a identity theft, we have information theft also in which the scammers will take your information by deceiving you. One of them is phishing. And we know this word what is scam. We all are aware with the frauds. But what are the measures to avoid? Don't click on the link when you will receive any mail or message. Or don't enter any personal or financial information on the unsecure websites. If you will get message that you have won something, don't believe that and don't respond to them or don't enter any information there. By mistake, if you are a victim of cybercrime, there are options to come out of that. Here is the cyber cell number 1930. Call to that number or file a complaint. Even you can register the cybercrime on the government's portal. Let's discuss one more topic that is computer forensic. 
to track scammer or to catch hold of fraudster we can use digital evidences this is called as computer forensic keep the definition in mind because you may get theory questions too here are some of the cyber slot but we need to revamp this we need strict cyber laws all right now proceeding to the next important topic that is digital footprint we upload images as well as videos on the social networking website but do you know if you delete it also it will exist there because backup of the data will be taken on the server sometimes or before deleting it if someone will download it in their device they will have your videos or images it means what the record and traces of individual activities will be there on the server it will be permanently stored so make sure you know all the privacy settings of the social media before you upload something on it nowadays all are using internet social media but before that you should have some etiquettes so here are some of them be authenticated be secure be reliable don't fight online please don't use fake names protect your identity don't insult or use offensive language against someone and respect others all right then after the discussion of the topics it's time to check out the questions for the same here is the first question stealing personal information over the internet is called as identity theft all right let's check out the next question any criminal offenses facilitates through electronic devices or information system over the internet is called criminal offenses is nothing but crime with the use of some electronic gadget so the correct choice is cyber crime here is one more multiple choice question let's read it to avoid tracking by website and storing of cookies private browsing opens a website in the correct choice is incognito mode if you don't want any website to track your browsing history do the private browsing and one of the option is incognito mode so whenever you open any browser go to the incognito mode What's the next question cookies are stored on the remote server this statement is false because cookies will get stored on the user's system cookies are nothing but text file which will store your browsing activities if you don't want go to settings and manage cookies when you surf any website there also you will get choice to manage cookies Moving ahead to the next question method for interpretation of computer media for digital evidence are collectively known as computer forensic when we use digital evidence to find out scammers or fraudster it is called as digital forensic or we can say computer forensic also this is also one of the format of the questions it is application based this question has been taken from the textbook let's read it Atharva forgot to sign off from the email account and his friend Ravan logged in as Atharva. He sent some offensive messages to classmates. We need to tell which kind of cyber crime. It is nothing but identity theft because Ravan used Atharva's identity and sent some inflammatory email messages to the classmates. How you will justify your answer? Write down what is identity theft. When you use someone else's identity using gadgets, it means it's a case of identity theft. It is illegal and one of the cyber crime. All right, after MCQs, we have some theory question. In this we need to define what is digital footprint. This chapter is completely theoretical, so you can frame your answers in your own words. Let me show you the sample answer. first we will be writing the definition what is digital footprint it is a traces of data and the data can be anything when you are transmitting messages emails or you will upload videos or any kind of digital communication all right let's move ahead here is the next theory question we need to define what is cyber stalking along with that the measures let's check out the answer When we use electronic gadget to harass someone or threaten someone it is a case of cyber stalking we are following someone online without their consent so how to protect ourselves from the cyber stalkers obviously we need to use strong password and we should keep on changing them be careful while sharing the personal information on the social media before uploading any data check out the privacy settings Here are some of the measures you can protect yourself online. 
we already discussed what is identity theft now you can write the theory question on it when we steal someone else identity that is called as identity theft you need to secure your personal information generally identity theft will be for financial gain so check your bank and credit card statements regularly if there is any unauthorized activity inform the bank and this is obvious we need to keep our passwords strong so with these small steps you can be safe from identity theft here is one more application based question which is based on digital footprint let's read and try to understand the situation radha celebrated her birthday and she shared her photos on the social media so that her friend subhash can see them but there was a fight between radha and subhash radha deleted all his pictures but still subhash has it they both had a common friend named sneha when sneha showed radha's picture to her in the next morning she was surprised how subhash got her pictures even after she deleted her images from that social media now we need to answer these questions and give the justification for the same how could subhash access an image which was already deleted the answer can be like this even radha deleted the pictures from the social networking website subhash might have already downloaded or saved the images before deletion not only that some social media platform will save the data temporarily for certain amount of time what's the next question can anybody else also access these deleted images yes before deletion if you have downloaded it you can access it even there will be copy on the server so be careful while uploading images on the social media what's the third question had these images not been deleted from radha's digital footprint we understood this no it is not completely deleted let's read the next question what does digital footprint mean we can write the answer for this it is the traces of the data that person leaves behind while using internet the data can be anything your browsing history your online activities images videos etc if there is a backup or stored by third parties or even shared by others it will exist so always check the privacy settings and before uploading any data over social media be careful with that note let's wind up today's video hope you got an idea the type of questions you will be getting on these topics in the next video we will be discussing important questions on online access and computer security so until next time study hard stay confident i will see you in the next video